In this video, we are going to create this Black Widow movie poster. All right, before I start editing this, there was a Photoshop update of June 2020 and they said that the select subject feature is really improved. So let's try that out and see what it does. And they said that the hair was a lot better now to cut out. So let's see how it looks. Well, it's not bad, but it needs a little bit of work. So I'm gonna go here as a solid color, make this gray and press on the mask of it and go to select the mask and fix this hair like this. So this is a little bit of brushing that's need to be done. And you can see here the hand is gone and stuff like that. We need to fix that. So I'm gonna do that really quickly now. Right now this looks like a nice cut of this, but it isn't really nice because when I change the background from white to black, for instance, you can see the hair here, it's not good. So for things to fix this, you can just select this layer and take the clone stamp tool, which you can find here, then just hold on Alt and start brushing these this hair so just hold on out click and bring it to the edge that way you can fix all this hair here now once you have this just press right mouse and convert this to a smart object and now we can make a new file so if you press ctrl command and you can make a new file i'm gonna go for a4 here press create and drag this in a new file and put this like a little bit bigger so i'm gonna make sure she's big enough here all right, next thing I want to first create is the background. So I want to create like this thing. So first I will select this area here. Oh, forgot to close it. Let's close it like that. Then just double click on it and go to color overlay. And I'm going to go for this color. So a bit of a dark red, put it behind there. And this is our background. So and now I can move this a bit around or rotate it if I want a bit more like that. Make it bigger. So I think this will be cool as a background. Let's work on the rim lights now. We have a red background here, so we want to make sure the stuff around the hair is also a bit red. So for this, I'm going to make a hue and saturation layer. Press this so we only affect your layer. And make sure to press color lights and try to ma match the background color. Just only the red with with this with her hair and skin and stuff like that so try to pick like the same color i think something like this maybe even brighter like that right that's it now press on the mask of it and press ctrl command i to invert it to delete it and take a white brush bring the hardness and opacity and flow all the way up and hardness at zero and brush these edges so it blends better with this background of this red so I'm going to brush all these edges here and we have like a sort of rim light going on with this red background in her hair. I'm also going to do this here, down here, maybe a bit here. She looks a little bit too bluish to me, so I'm going to create a color balance here. Press this, it's already pressed here. And move this red slider to the right, so we have a bit more red tones in it. Because this was like too bluish and we have a red background, so let's make this up bit more red let's start brushing the background now if you press on brushes here i will link these brushes in the description of the video so you can download these i have these ink splatter brushes and this is really good to create background stuff like this so make a new layer like i did here and select the white color and start making like these splatters make sure to put it behind her layer like that and try to use different Pressure, so you don't see pattern in in these splatters so let's make a couple of these splatters around here maybe a bit here like that maybe try to change it because when you do it like with the same brushes you see the pattern and it's something that you want to avoid so let's do a couple there we can also rotate it a bit here to like have different splatters different sides that it goes up a little bit to the side and stuff like that all right so this i think this looks fine maybe a bit there like that all right now we can do also some splatters on the right red side so i'm going to change the color here select red create a new layer and also do the same but to the other side so i'm just gonna rotate this 
to this side and make some splatters on this side. Let's change the brush because I don't want to have the same brush over and over again. Let's do a bit. Let's put it behind these. Let's do a bit here. Like that. Maybe some here. Let's change the brush again. Make sure to rotate it the right way. Because we have right on the red side red on the right side and white on this side. So make sure we make it goes left or right. If that makes sense. Alright, I think this looks fine to the details. Maybe one more. Just to get a bit more stuff in it. Let's do here, a bit more behind here. To give it that grungy effect. Makes it look like really badass. Just don't do it too much because when you're gonna do it too much, it's gonna get nasty and I'm gonna avoid that. Let's leave it like this. A bit more red reflections on her face and stuff like that. So I'm gonna create a new layer above of everything. Create a clipping mask and select this red background color. Press OK. And bring the opacity down to around 30-40%. Change the blend mode to overlay. And press a bit here. So we have less like this nice red reflection from this background also in her face. This gives a bit more details to this image. I think it looks better like that. Maybe not her hand, but just her face here. To get more red in it. Just not the whole face because it's gonna get really red. I just wanna have one side, like that side. That's facing with the red background. So this is fine. Maybe also a bit here. You can. Makes sense. You can also do her back here. Let's try back here a bit. Try a bit here, here. Alright, let's not do her ass. Let's leave that one white all right let's add some light effects to this so this is really easy if you have a white background so let's create a new layer and select the brush and just select white as a color bring the opacity all the way up again make sure the hardness is at zero and just make a dot and put it where you want the light to be i want to have some light effects here and just change the blend mode to screen and let's put it there maybe some here just a bit of these glowing light effects will make this look really cool you can rotate this duplicate it again and try to find some places where it looks nice Let's see, maybe just here, around her hand, so we get the focus on her hand. I think this looks nice. Just don't go it like this, because when you have it like inside there, it looks weird. So just try to stay on the edge of everything and don't put it inside her image, like that. Alright, so we have red, white, and we are missing black. This is Black Widow, Widow, right? So we need some black colors. I'm going to duplicate this layer, press Ctrl J on it, and change the blend mode in color overlay and go to black. Change it to black, and after that I can just rotate this and see what I like best. Maybe even an X looks good. You can see now we need to rearrange this splatter effect because it's, it's a bit too messy now, but I want to make sure I have like some black in this image. So I think I'm going to do something like this. We can eventually just make like this and duplicate it again, move it around and place it how you want it. So this is really what you want to do with it. Try it some different stuff like this. Maybe stretch it like that just to make some cool black effects in the background. So I'm going to move this a bit around to see what looks best. Next thing I want to do here is this background, red background looks a little bit too clean for me so i'm going to add this image this is also from the site that's in the description of the video you can find a lot of these grungy backgrounds and the only thing you have to do here is change the blend mode to either overlay or soft light whatever you want and let's rotate this so we fill this whole area with it and now we have a nice grunge background instead of like one color i think one color looks a bit boring especially for this for this movie i think it looks better like this 
can also duplicate it if you want more blacks in it. So maybe a bit less like that. So this gives a bit more like raw effect to it. If we duplicate this and move this up, let's see if we put it behind her. Let's first change blend mode. Let's see if you scroll through these blend modes, you can find nice blend modes that work. So let's also do this for this white area. So it isn't white, but a bit more like grungy gray. Let's see where we put this. Let's put it here and I'm going to add a curve layer for this one because I feel like it's too dark now. Let's make it lighter like that. So I have a bit of these effects at the bottom here. Now I don't want to affect this, so I'm going to make a mask here and just select gradient here. Press D on your keyboard so you have white and black and get rid of that part. So just this part here, let's drop the opacity even more. That's better. I think this looks good. Or maybe even more like that. Alright, this dark part is a bit too dark, so I'm also going to drop this a bit. Let's see, this one. Let's also drop this. Like that. That's better. Alright, let's export this as a PNG file and open this up in Lightroom. So I got this opened up in Lightroom and if you want to get these presets, you can check the link in the description. So I'm going to apply this one, number two from my presets. If you don't have these presets or you don't want to get these, you can just follow along with the tutorial and do it without the preset. So I'm just going to apply this one and that's it. I'm going to export this as a file and open this up in Photoshop again. Create it in Lightroom. I'm going to put it above this one and drop the opacity here a bit and that's it. So I have a bit more of this moody grungy effect to this whole image. Now let's add the logo here. I have this original logo that I found online. You can just edit here and make it bigger and just find a nice place. You can even put it here. It fades a bit away here, so I'll put it there. You can see it better there and maybe add some text and stuff like that to finish this whole thing up. Now let's where is it? let's first disable this logo and if you press on the last layer, press Ctrl Alt Shift E, we can duplicate this. Make a smart object and go to filter camera raw filter. This is the updated version of camera raw filter. They changed this a bit. So here I can do some final adjustments. Let's drop the exposure slightly here. And also the contrast. Let's increase the highlights a bit, make the shadows darker. Let's do some whites, a bit more white, and the black ones. Let's bring it up so it won't be too dark. And let's give it a huge more contrast, uh, texture, not contrast, sorry. So we can get all these details really cool, like that. Let's also do a bit of clarity here. So yeah, I'd like it like that. Now let's move to the color mixer and here I can do some color adjustments. And eventually I can change the whole background here to something else if I want. But let's leave it red because she needs to be red. Right, so this is okay. I think this looks fine. Let's move on. Let's see if we can do some luminance here. I'm not used to this setup of light of uh, camera raw filter yet. It's changed. So, bit of luminance. Like that. And let's try some calibration here to get it red really popping out. I think this looks good and now I can disable the logo back again and this is pretty much done and here you can add other text like her name and stuff like that. So thanks for watching this is just a quick little tutorial to show you how it's done. If you want to learn more check out one of these videos until then see you in the next video.